You may or may not have heard already about Verizon, a new service management approach for the digital age. Everybody's talking about the digital transformation these days, so it's very easy to see why Verizon would be relevant for an IT professional. But what if you don't work in IT, but in marketing or sales or legal or finance or any other department for that matter? I can imagine that you might think, what's it got to do with me? Well, actually, more than you might think, the fact that there's no longer any real separation of business and IT anymore means that everyone within an organisation needs to understand the service mindset which is needed to provide services in the digital age. Imagine introducing a new service without any input from legal about how you can be compliant, any input from finance about what it's going to cost, or perhaps most importantly, from sales and product teams about what the customer actually wants. It would be a disaster. So if we take a look at an example of that, you've probably been to a fast food restaurant recently and you may have placed your order at an electronic device as opposed to ordering it with a person like we always used to. You were probably even able to personalise your order. I want extra cheese or this kind of bread. And probably at the beginning you were even able to choose the language that you'd order in. And the people that used to take your order previously by manually, without the automated system, they're bringing the food to your table now. What does this mean for the fast food restaurant? Well, it means an increase in efficiency and it's a great experience, of course, for the company's customers in an extremely competitive market, so it increases loyalty. And this would never have been possible if the focus had just been on that ordering device and the introduction of this new service had been treated purely as an IT project. So if we break this example down a bit further, who would be involved in such a service? Well, product management for a start, they need to make sure that the service meets the needs of the customers. For example, which languages does it need to be available in? Marketing needs to be involved to make sure it has the desired look and feel in the way that the company wants to present itself. Customer service staff are involved, they need to understand their new role and how to interact with the automated system. Finance needs to be involved to understand the costs of implementing the new system. HR needs to be involved to make sure that everybody's trained and knows what they're doing. IT, of course, needs to be involved to make sure the device actually works and does what it's supposed to do. And legal will be involved to make sure that any personal information captured by the device is handled in line with relevant legislation. In today's digital world, there's no such thing as an IT project because IT projects are business projects. And that means that everybody needs the right service mindset to support this, regardless of the role they have within the organisation. That's all very well and good, but I can imagine that you might be thinking, how can I learn the relevant stuff without getting bogged down with all that IT content? And that's where the Verism Essentials certification comes in. The Verism Essentials certification, it covers the essential content in Verism to help you get prepared for the digital age, but it doesn't cover all the stuff around emerging technologies and progressive management practices, which is covered in Verizon Foundation Certification. That might just be a step further than you need to know right now, especially if you're not working in IT. So Verizon Essentials, what does it cover and how can you benefit from it? Well, Verizon Essentials Certification will help you to understand what the digital age is all about, and the different demands it makes of you as a business professional. It'll help you to understand how you can develop the right behaviours and the service mindset, which will help to make you a really valuable asset for organisations in the digital age. It will help you to take better decisions about how to offer your products and services focused on the consumer and how they experience the service. It'll help you to be more change resilient and adapt faster to the customers and the market needs and it will help you to define better the requirements for IT to make sure that it satisfies the business needs and not the other way around. So perhaps you're interested now and you think that sounds good, but I can imagine you might want to know a little bit more about how Verism can actually help your organisation. Otherwise, why would you spend the time on it? So let's take a look at some of the benefits um, for the organisation around Verism, the business benefits. Well, in the first instance, Verism helps organisations to develop the right culture that's needed for the digital age, based on a service mindset and focused on how the consumer actually experiences the service. 
Verism can also help an organisation to reduce costs because it helps you get the right unique mix of different practices and technologies that suits the organisation size, sector, aspects and culture. After all, there's no one size fits all anymore. Verizon does this via the management mess, which is tailored to each individual organisation. It'll stop you just blindly running after the next new shiny thing, which I'm sure we're all familiar with. In addition, Verism helps to increase competitiveness by developing an agile mindset, uh, which helps create innovative and adaptive business solutions and decreases time to market. Verism also helps you to remove the silos, bringing people from different disciplines together to work based on competences and specialisms. This helps remove barriers and improve communication. And it helps an organisation to retain and motivate employees, increasing their satisfaction by enabling them to take service ownership and work based on customer and organisational goals. I hope this video has been informative and that you're just as enthusiastic about Verism as I am. Good luck with your learning. Thank you.